check out our new Send This Newsletter interface in this quick video tour. Here's a post I've already prepared to send as a newsletter. If we scroll down, you'll see our Send This Newsletter meta box. And the subject is pre-populated based on the title above, over here. Uh, feel free to enter any preview text you like, but we'll leave it empty for now. And the groups and segments are drawn from your existing email service provider. So whatever groups, segments, lists, tags you have in there, you'll be able to see here in the uh, dropdown from name and from email. So do note that the from email has to be a verified email from your email service provider. And if you haven't done that, you can click on learn more to figure out the next steps. You can also send a test email to yourself or preview the email in a new tab. If you click on edit more settings, you'll be able to see and change some additional settings. So you have the option of sending an email newsletter now or saving it for later as a draft in MailerLite or whatever email service provider you're using. You can also choose to add a featured image to the top of this newsletter, which you can do over here. So you can set feature image and add an image to your newsletter you have the option to add an unsubscribe message. Finally, when you're done and ready to send your newsletter, you simply toggle on send as newsletter. And this allows you to send as newsletter when your post is published or updated. You can also check to see if this box is checked. They are linked. So if you see, if I uncheck this box, the toggle turns off as well. This is handy so that if you are in the post editor itself and making changes. Um, you want to see whether the send as newsletter box is checked before you hit publish. So in our case, we want to check the box on and this lets us send as newsletter without having to go all the way back down here to check the box. So now that the send as newsletter um, checkbox or toggle um, is on, we can hit publish. And that's it. So the email newsletter is now on its way and you have the option of viewing the status log or sending another newsletter. So for now, we can view the status log and you can see that this is the second time we've sent this newsletter. So we've sent once at um, so you sent once at 11.16 and again at 11.35, which is right now. And if you want to send another newsletter, let's say, for example, you wanted to make some changes here for, for some special subscribers. So let's say you want to send this to secret subscribers. You can now do this and send another newsletter. Select the specific segment that's only for those special subscribers and send a new newsletter. Now let's see what the newsletter looks like. Okay, here's the new newsletter. These are all the changes we've made as well as our specific unsubscribe message. And now you know how to use our new interface to send newsletters. Thank you for watching.